As I begin this, the first thing that I want to say is a very special shout out to Texas and to the awesome supporters of After Prison Show from there and also to who sent me this awesome champion t-shirt. I'm sorry that I got this flag confused with the Puerto Rican flag. We've actually got a pretty decent sized fan base out of Texas, so I definitely didn't mean any disrespect confusing your state flag. All right, a lot of things going on today. I wanna begin this by saying thank you guys for the support, thank you guys for the encouragement. What I did not getting the permits, definitely a stupid thing to do. I was just getting ready to start filming a cooking video for today. Today's Tuesday as I'm filming this, it's early in the morning, but I gotta put that on pause for a moment. We're probably still gonna be doing that in this video, but I gotta go over to the house and meet a master plumber. One of the first permits that I've gotta get in order and they're gonna be over there in 20 minutes. So I can't make this super long. We're gonna go meet the plumber. We've been talking with the master electrician. We're trying to get the ball moving in the right direction with these permits, but we won't have any idea how any of this is gonna go until we start meeting with these people and seeing what we can do. So let's go meet with this guy and I'll share with you what we learn after doing so. All right, so over at the house right now and just got done meeting with a professional plumbing company, the owner of that professional plumbing company as well. And good news and bad news. The good news is they're gonna get this situation squared away and they're gonna be doing it pretty quickly. The bad news is it's probably gonna be pretty expensive and there were not a whole hell of a lot of things that he saw that he thinks need to be corrected but he doesn't know until they get under the house and they're gonna be getting under the house, checking all of that when they get to work on this. And again, that's gonna be happening in the very near future. They're gonna take care of the permits. They're gonna call the city and find out what the city wants from them in order to get this thing to be able to pass inspection. From the work that he saw up in here, he said that it looks pretty good. There were a couple of things that he had mentioned. Uh, air restorators, never even heard of this. He said those need to be on all of the lines. He said those are easy, they can just be installed. He was mentioning something about the outside spigot that we've got. He's gonna get that squared away and not bad, but again, gonna be pretty costly. So, good news. I've got one less permit on me. Kevin, thank you again for the clipboard in here. I've got all of the permit applications. I've got one less permit application on me and that is the plumbing permit. Now, this guy has taken that. He's gonna get that squared away. Also, electrical, we've got the professional electrician talking with the city right now, trying to find out how we rectify the situation. So we're gonna be finding out about that very soon. Today, I'll find out about that. I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to share that information with you today. That might have to wait until tomorrow. They're also gonna get us a price. Uh, we're talking probably, I don't even wanna think about a price right now. All I wanna think about is just getting this situation fixed and we are on the right track to doing so. So plumbing is gonna get squared away. Electrical is in the process of getting squared away. HVAC is gonna be next. And then building is gonna be, well, the one thing that I'm still working on. I've got the plans drawn up, the plans that I came over here yesterday and drew, and I wanna share with you this picture right cheer. Took me two days on the computer to create this, and this is using some free software. This is to scale. This is our house the absolute layout of it. And what's crazy is when I was doing all of these measurements yesterday, measuring you know, the distance from the back of the kitchen to you know, the, the wall, from the countertops to the wall, getting like all of these measurements, I go put it in the computer yesterday and by today I realize the square footage of our house is not 760 something square feet. It's like 690, I do believe. Six, 690 square feet, so that deck and that ramp are probably factored in to the square footage of this property. So this house is even smaller than we thought. Don't wanna waste a lot of time with this. Just wanted to give you guys this quick update. One final thing before I get out of here, we're getting ready to go cook. I am starving. We're gonna be doing something awesome when we get back to the house. This right cheer, our emergency water cutoff, or our, our water cutoff in the house. Plumber told us we didn't even need that. He said because the outside water is accessible. So I can't remember exactly why he said we didn't need it, but he said, you know, we didn't need it. So there's that. He talked to me about a couple of other things, nothing too crazy, hopefully. He said there could potentially be something where something has to happen, but hopefully not. And if it does have to happen, whatever. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. 
Let's go cook some prison food, folks. We're gonna go cook a prison meal without ramen noodles. I did a video about this years ago, probably five years ago when I first started After Prison Show. That video no longer exists because it was filmed with an ex-girlfriend. She didn't want the video up no more. But we're gonna recreate this meal and share with all of you. How do you cook a meal in prison when you ain't got no ramen noodles? That's absolutely unheard of. Well, I'm about to show you guys today, and I hope you're hungry, because Joe's cooking lunch today. Whew. Been a long time since we got to play dress up here. We're gonna try to make today a good day overall, and that's why we're gonna focus on the positive, and we're up in the kitchen. We're gonna do us some prison cooking right now, and real quick before we get into that, I'm getting more and more updates about this permit situation, but we're gonna save that. One thing I do wanna share with you guys before we dive into this prison cooking is I literally just got a call from the store that I bought the refrigerator from asking me how the refrigerator is that I picked up. I told you guys yesterday that we bought a new refrigerator for the house and we haven't even had a chance to get that yet. I hope somebody didn't go pick up my damn refrigerator. Yo, we cannot catch a break. Hopefully that's not the case and they just made a mistake. They said, oh, well, let me check into this and I'll give you a call back. Son of a gun. All right, folks, we're up in the kitchen and who wants to cook some lunch? We're getting ready to cook a prison meal without using ramen noodles. This is gonna be a spread. How do you do it? Let me show you guys what we got laid out for the ingredients and then we're gonna get right up into this thing. Not wasting any time, let's just make it happen. Just like we got to do with this house and these permits. Laid out on the old island, we've got condiments, we've got toppings, we've got bread. Wonder bread? You're not going to get none of that in prison. We've got ramen noodles, we've got summer sausage, we've got jalapenos, but we're not going to be able to use those because they're expired. We got the hot pickle back here, we got the prison style squeeze jalapeno cheese, ranch dressing, Texas Pete, ramen noodles. Wait, Joe, I thought you said we weren't gonna be using those. A piece of Tupperware, we got some flowers right here. You're probably wondering what these are about. These aren't for the meal. These are actually for my wife because she's the person who's making it all happen in regards to trying to get the house squared away with the permits. Baby, I love you. And these flowers don't even begin to do justice for just what you mean to me. Nice little sentimental moment right there. We've got some cheese curls. My wife was eating these. These are for the prison meal, baby. We've also got the whole shebang super seasoned snack extreme crunchies with a bonus kick of heat. God, these things are delicious. I'm surprised they haven't crushed the whole bag yet. And we've got some cheese nips. We're gonna make this thing super cheesy. We can go ahead and put the flowers out of the way so they don't get prison meal all over them. Sit right there in front of the Keurig for me and the air fryer. Yo, we only got one K cup left and I drank two cups of coffee in the morning. Damn it, I just left the grocery store. These are the ingredients. Now, let's go ahead and dive up into how the hell we're gonna make this prison meal without any of these. This, not, we need this, but without any of these. So we're getting ready to make us a prison spread right now and this is something that I made up inside of the jail, served 25 months up inside of Western Tidewater Regional Jail, and at this jail, during this time, they did not sell ramen noodles. None of these. So how the hell were you making a prison meal without these? Actually, you know what, we might need them. All right, let's go ahead and make us a nice little workstation right here. First thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna use us some, not all of, uh, these cheese curls right here, more importantly, this cheese curl bag. So, I don't want a whole bunch of these. I'm probably only gonna use, damn, my wife ate a bunch of these. We're probably only gonna use about a quarter of this bag. Let's go ahead and not waste any food here. Joe's getting ready to spend a whole lot of money in permits and professionals. We need to save everything that we can. So we've got about a quarter bag of cheese curls right here. Quarter bag of cheese curls crushed up. 
Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some of these shebang cheese crunchies right here. We're only gonna add these for the flavor. We don't got a ramen noodle seasoning pouch for this. So any additional flavor we can get in our base is just gonna make this meal like pow, right in the kisser. Up the dogs, they wanna come in. Come on in guys. Come on in, you guys hungry? You wanna eat some prison meal? Get the old sandwich bags out because if all else fails, we can resort, I'm not even gonna make that joke, that's in poor taste. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of these cheese crunchies. Shout out to who sent me these as well. Thank you guys very much. Put these to good use. Not only have I been eating these, we're also gonna use them in this cooking video. You guys want a treat? You guys are such good doggies. Such good doggies. That's a good doggie. Good girl. All right. Let daddy get back to work. We got bills to pay and permits to pay for as well. We got us a nice little OZ of those cheese crunches right there. That's probably gonna weigh out right nicely on the digis if we had some. Let's go ahead and crush these up as well. Now usually, if we had ramen soups for this meal, or for any meal that we were cooking, we could use the ramen wrapper to put these up inside of to get these crunched up. Ah, oh, God. I need some gloves on. Damn, that hurts. Oh, that's the good stuff right there. What'd you say this came from? Mmm, that's good. Smells like salt and vinegar and barbecue. What I actually believe whole shebangs actually are. I almost made a video one time trying to imitate and recreate a whole shebang potato chip. I bought a bag of, hey, don't eat the ramen soups, Louie. Don't eat the ramen, that's not for you, that's not a treat. Louie, Louie, it's not, it's, it's, it's not for you. You put holes all in these. Yeah, I had bought a bag of barbecue potato chips and also salt and vinegar. I mixed them together, shook them up real good. Didn't really taste like a whole shebang. Let's go ahead and add these cheese crunchies to our cheese curls. Shake and mix, shake and mix. Good doggies, this is not for you. Daddy's hungry. People are trying to see us homeless. Smells like the whole shebang. Overpowering and trumping all other flavors. Let's get us another baggie out. We're gonna add us a little bit of these cheese nips. And look, you can add anything that you want to these meals. Obviously when I was in the jail, we weren't getting, well, not obviously, but when I was in the jail, we weren't getting these whole shebang Cheese crunchies, I do believe we could get the whole shebang potato chips, not those. Uh, you probably could get cheese nips or some sort of cheese crackers, but anything that you add as a, you know, a form of a substance for your base, it's gonna work just fine. Ritz crackers, saltine crackers, Toll House crackers, store brand crackers. I really wanted to go on listing a whole bunch of different crackers. If you guys know any that I forgot, please comment down below. Just a little more for the cheese. I don't think we've got enough of that going thus far. Mix and shake, mix and shake. All right, now, in place of ramen soups at the jail, this folks was the secret ingredient. I'm gonna use the three slices of bread for this just to make sure it congeals the way we want it to. gonna come in handy. So with the bread, you don't wanna just throw this right up in here. What you wanna do is you wanna break this up. Just gonna tear it up like we're feeding some pigeons and some ducks out on the prison boulevard. Doesn't have to be anything too broke down, but you, know, you wanna get it broke down to some smaller pieces. And again, this is gonna act as our ramen soup. You might think to yourself, Joe, you're about to make you some soggy bread. Well, it's definitely a trick to it. And I'll share with you guys what that trick is once we get there. I'm over here now. Camera angles, they make or break the video. 
All right, folks, we've got our bread all broken down quite nicely. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and add that to our bag of crushed up everything. So let's go ahead and just throw that up in there. I'm hoping three slices of bread is gonna be enough. You can add four if you wanna be on the safe side. It's only me over here and the dogs. So I'm really not trying to make too big of a meal. I'm actually gonna save this once we get done. And this is gonna be me and my wife's dinner. We've got the bread up in there with everything else. Now let's go ahead and shake and mix. Mix and shake. It'd be cool if I had like a little itty bitty camera I could put inside of this while I'm shaking it up. And you really wanna make sure you get that, that bread mixed in good. That's not good enough. That's not gonna pass no inspection. That just might do it right there. All right, next thing we wanna do is we wanna get some water going up inside of this. We want some hot water up in here, not too much. And we're gonna start getting our base together. We've got the water. Now we're going to the microwave. You know, it's been almost five years since I've been out of prison. Maybe it's even been longer than that. Hell, I've actually lost count at this point, but you may ask yourself, why are you still cooking prison meals? And you know, sometimes it's not a bad idea to cook you a prison meal, eat that, and kind of just humble yourself. Remember where you've been, be grateful for where you are. Pretty good little piece right there. Oh, water's done. All right, we got some hot water right here. We're gonna be very careful with that. Trying not to burn ourselves, but more importantly, making sure that we don't add too much water to this right here. We're gonna start with just a little bit. Now, if you add too much water, oh my God, I might've just added too much. Bring it back, Joe, bring it back. If you add too much water, you're gonna end up with some dumplings, like some super soggy bread. Isn't that what a dumpling is? The bread is the noodle. The noodle is the bread. Ray Finkel. That's usually funnier on the bow, though. We got her. Fear not. Didn't add too much water. But you probably could see how easy it is to accidentally add too much water. So, I want to show you guys what we've got going on up in this bag real quick. I mean, you're basically seeing, uh, can you see that? It's like a little dough. We brought bread back to its original state and it's like dough. So that's what we're going for, that's the consistency. If you add too much water, you're gonna end up with dumplings. Look at that, that thing just rolled up like a little burrito right there. You could eat this by itself and that'd be good. That's not what we're looking for. We're not looking for a burrito with this, even though you could make one. We'll do the same exact video again two weeks from now and instead of using this as a spread, we'll use it as a burrito. Instead, boy, that was a bar, Cody. All right, we're gonna let that set up. That sucker is perfect, not too thick. It's like a little thin crust we got going on right here. All right, while we wait on that, flip that over so it'll be easier to open. Let's go ahead and bust up some condiments. Yo. I was in need of a knife. I was about to pull one out of the drawer when I remembered. Blades Now sent me these awesome blades. I think this old Bowie knife right here, I don't know if that's necessarily what this is. I think this will suffice. Boy, that sucker's sharp. Cooking a prison meal with a sword. Well, that popped open real quick. All right, let's go ahead and skin this cat. Huh. God, why does that smell so old? Oh. Yeah, I'd say that'll get the job done. Folks, you get caught with something like this up in prison, your release date is guaranteed to change. No! 
Oh my god, I almost thought I cut my finger off. Sausage is cut up. All right, we're gonna need that same Tupperware. Go ahead, throw all that up in there. Let's go ahead and throw this up in the microwave and nuke this for a good minute and a half. While the sausage is nuking, we're gonna go ahead and chop up half of this pickle. We don't need this whole pickle, cause that, boy, that right there, boy, that's some substantial girth. My goodness, that's a thick pickle. You better never comment on girth of a pickle while you're in prison. Is there an expiration date on these? 2019, seems about right. Holy moly, that's hot. Look at the steam coming off of that. Louie, it's not for you. Smells like prison already. Meat's cut, meat's prepped, pickles are good. Next, chili. Me after eating Taco Bell. Boom. It didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. Oh, there it is, there's that Taco Bell. All right, heating up the chili, and then we're ready to put this meal together. The video quality is probably gonna take a noticeable change at this point. The M50 died, we ain't got but one battery for that thing. So, RIP to the battery. Oh, I can't be showing y'all my sink. We're back on the power shot, and I'm sure you guys can tell the difference. So, we're just about ready to dress this meal up. We've got the chili. That should be, oh, that's so hot. Let's go ahead and stir that money up. Oh, yeah. Nice little chili beans right there. Let's undress our base. See what she's looking like on the inside. Perfect every time. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. First thing we're gonna add, some of them chili beans. Those are so hot. We don't want a whole lot of chili beans. Joe's gotta edit this video afterwards. And I'm not trying to spend two hours on the toilet. Spread those out. You know what, we probably need all of them. Eh, nothing like a whole can of chili for lunch. If you're on a construction site, you'll understand why those Porter Johns look the way they do sometimes. Certain things you should and shouldn't eat for lunch. This might not be one of them things you really want to mess with. All right, chili's on our meal. Let's go ahead and add us some cheese to this sucker. It's not really drizzling the way I was hoping for. Kind of trying to draw the cheese up there. Next, let's go ahead and add some of that meat all over this sucker. Our summer sausage. Get some of that grease on there too, cause in prison and jail, that grease is a treat. Mmm, all grease. Next up, our pickle game. Add a little greenery to this. We could have put some onions and green peppers on this. I don't need the heartburn today. This is gonna be enough of that for me. Bang, pickles on there. Next up, a little of that Texas pita action. Ooh, -hoo. make it look like sushi, Joe. And finally, can't never go wrong with the ranch dressing. Folks, that right there is a super treat. And that's also how you cook a prison meal with no ramen soups. Now, folks, for the moment I know you've all been waiting for. What is this gonna taste like? I want me a nice little piece with a little bit of everything on it. And you eat this just like such. Mmm. Oh my God. You can't even tell that this is missing ramen noodles. No, Louie, this isn't for you. Oh. That A lot of flavors going on right there, folks. A lot of flavors. 
had to take off the apron and the hat, had to run out to the truck. Couldn't run out to the truck with the apron and the hat on. Didn't want the neighbors to think I'm in here making meth. The damn battery died on this camera. And I had to go get another battery. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up, folks. There's our meal right there. Really wanna hear what you guys think about this. And if you try this meal, definitely let me know what you think. This here, this is lunch and dinner for Joe's family. Hey guys. Hey, it's prison food for dinner, guys. I hope you're hungry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't be messing with my belt. I don't know why my belt keeps falling out like that. Really wanted to share all of this with you guys today, and I hope that this was a video that you enjoyed. A lot of things going on outside of the kitchen, and we are working as hard as we possibly can to right the wrongs that I made with this house. But that's only one part of everything. The more important thing, I don't really know if it's more important, but the thing that we focused on primarily in this video, cooking this prison meal without ramen soups. You guys let me know how you think this turned out. Would you try this? And when you try this, let me know just what you think. Thanks for taking the time to rock with me today. And until tomorrow, 